In this animation, we will review the physiology of the cardiac cycle and describe the sequence of events that occur during the contraction and relaxation of the heart. The heart is a pump that circulates blood through two different but interconnected vascular systems. During one cardiac cycle, all four heart chambers go through two basic phases, systole and diastole. Each cycle is initiated by spontaneous generation of an action potential in the sinoatrial or SA node. The action potential then travels through the atrioventricular or AV node into the ventricles. This graph depicts the physical properties related to the two phases of a cardiac cycle, showing changes in pressure and volume over time, as well as how these changes relate to heart sounds and the EKG. Systole represents ventricular contraction, which causes ejection of blood from the ventricles, followed by diastole, the period of ventricular relaxation when filling of the ventricles occurs. We will now analyze these two phases in greater detail. As shown in the graph, at the end of diastole, the cardiac cycle begins with atrial contraction, or atrial systole. This is reflected by the P wave on the EKG, which represents electrical depolarization of the atria. Atrial contraction produces a small increase in venous pressure that is reflected by the A wave. This contraction also causes a rapid movement of blood across the atrioventricular, or AV valves into the ventricles. An S4 heart sound can be heard at this time if ventricular compliance is reduced, which occurs in ventricular hypertrophy. At the end of atrial contraction, ventricular volume is maximal and is referred to as the end diastolic volume, labeled here as EDV. This EDV also represents ventricular preload. Ventricular systole begins with isovolumetric contraction of the ventricles. Ventricular pressure rises abruptly. Once ventricular pressure is higher than atrial pressure, the AV valves close. This phase of the cardiac cycle begins with the appearance of the QRS complex on the EKG, which represents ventricular depolarization. During this time of early systole, after the AV valves close and before the aortic and pulmonic valves open, the ventricular pressure continues to rise with no ejection of blood, hence the term isovolumetric contraction. Closure of the AV valves results in the first heart sound, S1. Furthermore, the C wave, noted on the curve for atrial pressure during isovolumetric contraction, is due to bulging of the AV valves back into the atria. Ventricular ejection of blood during systole begins once the pressure in the ventricles exceeds the pressure in the aorta and pulmonary artery, which causes the aortic and pulmonic valves to open. With the aortic and pulmonic valves now open and the ventricles continuing to contract, the ventricular pressure further increases, resulting in a rapid ejection of blood. When the ventricles are done contracting, ventricular pressures decline rapidly, resulting in a slow ejection of blood. This phase of ventricular repolarization is represented on the EKG by the T wave. The volume of blood that remains in the ventricles after systole is called the end systolic volume, labeled here as ESV. Stroke volume is the difference between the end diastolic volume and the end systolic volume. When the ventricular pressures fall sufficiently beyond the pressures within the aorta and pulmonary artery, the aortic and pulmonic valves abruptly close. The closure of these valves produces the second heart sound, S2. Their closure marks the beginning of diastole, which starts with a period of isovolumetric relaxation. S2 is normally split because the aortic valve closes slightly earlier than the pulmonic valve. Although ventricular pressures decrease during this phase, volumes remain constant because all valves are closed.
The peak atrial pressure at the end of isovolumetric relaxation is represented by the V wave. This increase in atrial pressure is due to venous return filling the atria. As the ventricles continue to relax, the ventricular pressures fall below the atrial pressures. When this occurs, the AV valves rapidly open and ventricular filling begins. Despite the inflow of blood from the atria, ventricular pressure continues to fall because the ventricles are still undergoing relaxation. If a third heart sound is audible, this S3 represents rapid ventricular filling, which is benign in children, but can be a sign of pathological conditions in adults, such as ventricular dilation in CHF. Now, as the ventricles continue to fill with blood and expand, they become less compliant and the ventricular pressures begin to rise. This reduces the pressure gradient across the AV valves so that the filling of the ventricles slows down. This last phase of the cardiac cycle ends with the appearance of the next P wave, which begins a new cycle.